the history of gold is as mysterious as the metal itself. Gold has been used as a form of currency, a symbol of wealth, and a source of power and influence throughout the centuries. Gold has been an integral part of human history for centuries. But how does gold come to be? How is it made and where does it come from? In this video, we will explore the history of gold, how it is formed naturally, and how it is found today. The history of gold goes back to the ancient times, and there are several ways in which gold was formed. It can be formed naturally, through geological processes, or through artificial means. Gold is a chemical element that is found in the Earth's crust. It is created through a process called nuclear fusion or nucleosynthesis, which occurs in stars. In this process, atoms of hydrogen and helium fuse together to form heavier elements like carbon and oxygen, and eventually, gold. The process of gold formation in stars takes millions of years to complete. When a star reaches the end of its life, it explodes, releasing its core material, which includes gold atoms. These atoms are then scattered throughout the universe and eventually collected by planets. All of the gold found on Earth came from the debris of dead stars. As the Earth formed, heavy elements such as iron and gold sank or the planet's core. If no other event had occurred, there would be no gold in the Earth's crust. But around 4 billion years ago, Earth was bombarded by asteroid impacts. These impacts stirred the deeper layers of the planet and forced some gold into the mantle and crust. Over time, the Earth's mantle has pushed the gold up to the surface, where it can be found in its purest form. Earthquakes play an important role, as a shifting fault rapidly decompresses mineral-rich water. When the water vaporizes, veins of quartz and gold deposit onto rock surfaces. A similar process occurs within volcanoes. Gold is also found in the form of gold veins. Gold veins are formed when molten gold comes into contact with quartz, creating a vein of gold. Gold is most commonly found in quartz veins or in alluvial deposits. Quartz veins are formed when hot, molten rock pushes its way up through the Earth's crust and cools. The molten rock then crystallizes and forms veins of gold. Alluvial deposits are formed when rivers, streams, and other water sources carry gold particles which then settle into cracks and crevices in the ground. It is also possible to make gold artificially. This process involves combining two or more chemical elements together in a high temperature and pressure environment. This process can produce gold with different colors and purities depending on the chemicals being used. The result is a pure form of gold, which can be used in jewelry and other applications. Japanese physicist Hantaro Nagaoka first synthesized gold by bombarding mercury with neutrons in 1924. If you want to know how to make gold from mercury in detail, then comment me. Gold is found all over the world, with some of the largest gold deposits located in countries like South Africa, China, Russia, and the United States. The purest gold comes from South Africa, where gold is found in the form of nuggets or veins. This is due to the country's long history of gold mining and its unique geology. In conclusion, gold has been an integral part of human history for centuries. It has also been formed in stars and can be found in quartz veins and in the form of nuggets. It is found naturally in the Earth's core and mantle and can also be artificially made. Gold is a precious metal that is often seen as a symbol of luxury and wealth and is found in many places around the world.